What is going on, Alf Hunters? Hopefully you had a very magnificent weekend, but it is a very magnificent Monday, and hopefully you're having a great one. Let's take a look at what's going on across the markets today. We have had, over the past hour, or about an hour ago, uh, we had the start of Apple's WWDC, so we'll check in and see what's going on there. Uh, we'll just see how things are continuing from some crazy movements that we had last week, especially there on Friday. But to start the week, we did have a little bit of a gap down here, about a 0.15% of a gap down. Nothing crazy on the spy, a little bit of a gap down. Though. Nice little lower trade for the first 20 minutes. And then after that, kind of got on its horse, took off there for a few hours, a little bit of a slight pullback about an an hour ago, in the past 30 minutes, I saw a pump for about 10 minutes, and then that's coming back a little bit. So we'll see if it retests into this top area, area right here and takes off. Also, where the moving averages would be on the five minute time frame. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to just kind of wait and see on that one. Q's, Q's looking pretty good. Actually, got bought up initially on the gap down uh, this morning. Looked pretty good. Nice little roll over there about an hour ago. Nice little pump. Okay. Uh, notice the pump that we had over the past 30 minutes did not take out the high from about two hours ago. So, interesting on that one. IWM had a pretty nice gap down here. Okay, so IWM gap down roughly 0.85%, uh, but it traded higher pretty strong there in the first hour. Uh, continue to kind of push higher here over the past 30 minutes. Slight pullback. Okay. Um, the SPY Qs and the IWM all up about 0.2, 0.3%. Currently, the DIA gap down. Kind of more of a choppy day sideways. Nice little run here over the past 30 minutes. Okay. RSP also nice gap down. Um, positive. So they're all positive, uh, but they've all had gap downs. They've all had to run bullish during the day. A little more chop. Nice nice action here over the past 30 minutes here on the RSP, though. Okay. RSP daily. <sighs> well, it just, it just made a run up to the moving averages. We are in a downtrend. We are making lower highs. We were breaking some of these uh, lows that we had back to last Tuesday. We did not break last Monday's low. But as far as the daily trend, we are in a little bit of a declining trend there. Okay. Uh, the DIA, um, I'd say it's still just trying to figure out what it's going to do. Yeah. The IWM. So <clears throat> kind of, we talked about that at the end of the last week, the, you know, expect it to probably pull down into this area around 200. Well, a gap down below that and then just took off. But the thing I'll say is, uh, for how fast it's kind of gone, I, I was you you expect to probably find some resistance as you get into this area, whether it's here at this line around 202, or maybe it's a little bit higher into this downtrending line. That's uh, I think all of that's going to be resistance type levels. Uh, obviously, you're going to have the daily moving averages coming down as well. So. It wasn't a bad spot to probably go bullish off of that spot uh, that we had those highs back from early May, late April. But but the IWM hasn't looked as good recently as some of the others. Maybe the IWM does uh, does start to look better. Who knows? Q's, Q's currently up about 30%. Looking pretty good there intraday. Yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Spy up about a quarter percent, looking okay. All right, uh, real quick, take a look at AAPL. Obviously, you can see it sold down to the 10 daily EMA, real quick. Uh, obviously, it happened during the past hour, right there with the their conference going on. Which be curious to see all the things that kind of come out of this conference. I haven't really looked at anything, so be curious to what new revolutionary AI product they came out with. I have a hard time believing they did. And uh, anyways, uh, you can see the little quick sell off there over the past hour. Nice bounce back though. So not looking, not looking too bad. I think this is gonna be more of a sell event 
so we'll probably I think you probably will see some selling come in over the next uh, few days. It's just my perspective. There you go. All right. Take a look at the VIX. How's the VIX doing? Yep, nice gap up there on Monday. From Friday's close to Monday. Kind of talked about that one. Expect a gap up there on Monday. That was a pretty good one. All right, looking pretty good there on the VIX. Not really doing too much. Uh, that's worth talking about. DXY did have a very nice move up here on the DXY. Got a little bit of an upper wick currently. Here's a look at the 15. Obviously, you can see we kind of got a little bit of a topping action here. Maybe we break down this support level we're basically right on top of. And yeah, we'll just have to kind of wait and see because it's right at a level. So it's like, are we going to have a false breakout? We're going to break down. Uh, that's what the intraday time frame would tell you, but. I mean, we did clear these tops that we had back in kind of late May. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, GLD. Uh, nice, nice bullish day there on the GLD on gold. All right. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, pullbacks. Buy it up. 10-year yield. Yeah, yields had a very strong day on Friday. So the question is, are they going to have this continuation? That's going to be a really good question. Uh, probably have to find that out here in the next few days. But if we continue to push higher on yields, I, I think that would be a uh, maybe reduced exposure on equities. But we got plenty of time to figure that one out. You don't have to do that one immediately. Um, yeah, other than that, let's take a look at two year. So here's a short term, kind of doing a little doji action. All right, nothing kind of crazy going on there. 30 year, 30 years, looking pretty good there. Looking pretty good. Nice little continuation of higher. All right. Uh, 10 2 inversion makes sense. The two years not doing anything. So 10 year outperforming the two year, pushing higher. HYG with you know yields being higher. Surprise the bond is that high, doing that well today. But these track more closely to the shorter term. Shorter term's not really doing much. HYG kind of flat on the day, even though it did have a little bit of a gap down, kind of pushed higher. Okay. LQD continuing to push lower. So I'm thinking this might have been a false breakout here over the past late, late second half of last week. Yeah, and then uh, so we'll have to uh, really see. I mean, this is going to be the do or do or tie time, really, probably on bonds, as the TLT is now hitting into this downtrending line. So, pretty important spot here for bonds and yields. And then we got sector rotation for the day. We got utilities. Energies leading the day. Real estate also doing pretty well. Uh, tech in line with the market, along with industrials and discretionaries. Okay. Staples, healthcare underperforming. Also, communications and materials underperforming, and financials at the lower end of the day. And then intraday, we got utilities, the best performing intraday sector, and then real estate and energies. Healthcare in line with the market, discretionaries in line with the market, industrials in line with the market, tech. See a little bit of a sell down here even recently, but tech was doing pretty good earlier. And then uh, the Apple event kind of came and kind of did a little bit underperforming there over the past hour. And then financials, staples, and materials at the lower ends of the day.